Hi guys! Today I will be updating you on my zebra plant. I feel a little bit sheepish coming on here on camera because remember me? This is the girl that used to film YouTube videos <laughs> and haven't uploaded in about a month. But between work and running a small business and life, I'm afraid videos are one of those things that I've just haven't had the time to sit down and do. But in today's video, I'm going to be updating you on my Aphalandra squarosa, my zebra plant. I thank you everyone, first of all, who kept commenting and commenting and commenting where, <laughs> where's the update for this plant? And in my defense, I did film an update for it, but the video file of that corrupted. And, and that was about a month ago that I filmed that. And since then, I just haven't had a chance to sit down. But here I am, and I'm gonna update you guys on this baby. Okay, so if you guys remember in that very first video I did, it was a long spindly plant. It was on three stems and it was just like looking really, really lanky. And for a plant, that's not the kind of look that I'm going for. So what I did was, if you watched that first video, I cut it all back and popped those top cuttings into a vase and had the vase sitting to propagate those cuttings. Now, I filmed video clips for all of this and even the cuttings when they had roots, but again, those video files corrupted and I'm so annoyed about it. So you're just going to have to imagine what I'm telling you about right now. Okay, so after I cut those tops off and popped them in the vase, within a week or so, those tops actually started wilting and going really, really sad and just dying off, just looking like they weren't sitting in water at all. And I think what happened there was the stems of the, the stems of those with those stems were too woody, not actually like porous enough to actually soak and drink up the water. So because those stems were so long and it was the base, like those lower middle parts of those stems that was sitting in that water. So it was too woody, it wasn't drinking up the water. So after some time, what I did was I took those three stems out, cut them up like around the middle where they were a little bit softer and popped those in a glass of water. I also filmed a video clip for that which corrupted. So you're just gonna have to imagine and take my word for it that this, this actually happened. <laughs> so I had those cuttings sitting in water for about four weeks, three, four weeks. And within those three, four weeks from those nodes on those stems, I had some roots growing. So in this update video that I had filmed previously and it corrupted, what I did in that video was I took those cuttings out of the glass of water and I planted them back into this pot. So. I'm gonna do some b-roll here actually so you can see a little bit closer but in the original pot there were three stems so there were three stems and now there are one two three four five six seven eight so there are eight now because those stems those cuttings i had i cut some of them in half and took more than and took more cuttings off it basically so i planted all of those back into the original pot and now i have this big beautiful uh, lush zebra plant. So actually after I cut those tops off from that first video, shoots started coming out from both the base and the tops of the mother plant that I had cut back. And it was actually just so much, it brought me so much joy. And I think I have a little video clip in one of my update videos. I think it was actually in my houseplant tour video where I showed a little bit of this plant and I'll insert some of those clips here. Okay, this one is a win in my books. This is the zebra plant that I cut back a few videos ago. I cut the tops off, so that's the original stump. One, two, and three. That's the original, those are the three original stumps and it's grown back. I'm so pleased with how this is, this experiment was going. So I actually cut a stump and put it in here and the tops that I cut off um, actually kind of like wilted off and died off. So I cut them back and put them in a glass of water and they've actually started to root. So I'm pretty excited about how this is going. Um, yeah, it's such a beautiful plant now. I think I'm actually like going to really learn to love this zebra plant. I'm so excited with how that has gone. All right, so that's all the plants in my laundry room. So cutting back this plant actually encouraged new growth to spring from the top and the bottom of those original stems. The cuttings rooted, planted them back in the original pot, and it was an overall success, I would say. 
It's looking absolutely beautiful now. I've fallen back in love with this lovely, lovely plant. So since doing all of that, the care that I have given this plant has been, I've had it in the bathroom where it's had a constant stream of filtered light throughout the day. It's quite warm in there and I haven't let the soil dry out. So I've discovered that if I don't let the soil dry out too much, or if it does dry out too much, the lower leaves will start to drop very, very rapidly. So I've kept the soil quite moist. Not wet, not soppy wet, just moist. I've also ensured that I have kept up the showering of this plant because it is quite prone to aphids or those little, those little fluffy bugs, insects. I don't know what they are. I think they're kind of aphid, but it's quite prone to that. So I regularly shower it. Whenever I water, I put it in the shower and that in turn washes the leaves off it as well. I regularly spray the plant down with neem oil and Vitality Plus and that keeps the pests at bay. And I've found that if I do neglect or miss a cycle of showering when I water, so for example, I'm just really lazy or not lazy, but just like really strapped for time in a day, I'll just pop some water in the bottom of a pot and let it bottom water rather than popping it in the shower and letting it drink from the top, washing the leaves at the same time. I find that when I skip that cycle once or twice with a plant, I discover that I develop or the plant develops some type of pest, whether it's spider mites or thrips. So what actually happened with a Calathea zebrina of mine, I was bottom watering it. I think I did it like three cycles of dry. So I bottom watered it and just popped it in a, like in a water bath and let it drink from the bottom, which means it had a drink, but the top leaves weren't getting washed. And just before, just before I started filming this video, I was very sad to discover that the whole entire plant had developed thrips. So I cut the entire plant back and now I have a really sad pot of soil. <laughs> The plant itself will grow back, I know it will, but that is, it just reminded me again, it's so important to shower your plants. It not only gives the leaves a wash, it keeps the pests at bay, it keeps the dust away from the leaves, and it's just so incredibly important. And I've, I've been harping on about this a lot in a lot of my videos, but um, when I actually didn't practice what I preached, I discovered the ramifications of that and I lost this Calathea to some thrips. So anyway, I think the whole point of that was saying don't forget to shower your plants and the same goes for the zebra plant because they are quite prone to aphids. And I don't know where they come from. I don't know where the aphids come from. They're just like up here. Bling! They're there. So. Regularly wash your plant leaves. Um, yeah, that's really it for this zebra plant. I think that's the update. I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, that's the care I've given it. I hope it was helpful for you guys to see the, the after effects of the, of the propagation, I suppose. So yeah, that's it for this video. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for it and I'm glad I was finally able to do it. Even though it's probably good that I left such a big window in between updates because now you can see the beautiful results of growth after I think it was three months ago that I propagated this plant. So yeah, <laughs> that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a short one today and I, I will, I am, <laughs> I am trying to film more videos. It's just, I have lots of excuses, but I, they, they probably won't fly here. So I'm just gonna, I will, I'm gonna go. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave in the comments down below what your tips and tricks are for the zebra plant. I find care tips for this plant are quite elusive, so hopefully you find this video helpful. All right, that's really it for this video. I'm gonna go, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys soon.